It's now one year since the so-called Article 7 process was triggered by EU lawmakers against Hungary. It's their so-called nuclear option, the most powerful tool against countries breaching fundamental European values. And this week, EU ministers will be meeting about it for the very first time. I hope that we will speed up the process now because uh, a lot of damage has already been done to democracy, the rule of law and fundamental rights. Um, and I think that's also it sets a very bad precedent. Uh, I think it's important that the EU reacts much more speedily uh, and effectively when the European values are being violated. MEPs criticise Hungary for changes to the electoral system, violations of media freedom, ruling party dominance of institutions and systemic corruption. If Budapest doesn't change course, it could even come with a price. There is the new regulation or no, new law which is uh, going to apply from 2021, which says that uh, rule of law democracy is a precondition for European funds. And if Orbán Viktor will not change his politics, then it means that European funds can be suspended for Hungary. But for the Hungarian Justice Minister, the whole process is just a witch hunt. I came here to defend Hungary and I expect member states to stand on the basis of law when scrutinizing Hungary. I expect them to avoid double standards. I expect them to prove that this procedure is not a political chance. This hearing is just the first step in a process that could take years. The nominee for the EU Justice Commissioner, Belgian Foreign Minister Didier Reinders, has been accused of both corruption and money laundering by a Belgian intelligence agent. Belgian media reports that Reinders accepted bribes for influence over government contracts. He denies all accusations.